He is known for his contributions to the field of music as a Scottish composer and musician. He maintained an interest in traditional Scottish music, while also composing in classical style gallant forms. His name is James Oswald. In the small town of Crail, Scotland, in the year 1710, a musical prodigy was born. His name was James Oswald, and little did the world know that he would go on to become a legendary figure in the world of music. From a young age, Oswald displayed a remarkable talent for both playing instruments and teaching others to dance. His love for traditional Scottish music was evident throughout his career, but he also had a remarkable ability to compose in the classical style gallant forms. In 1741, Oswald made a bold move, leaving behind his hometown of Edinburgh and eloping to the bustling city of London with Mary and Melville. Their love story caught the attention of renowned poet Alan Ramsey, who lamented Oswald's departure in his poem, An Epistle to James Oswald. The couple soon welcomed their first child and eventually tied the knot in 1744. Together, they had three daughters, and Oswald's dedication to his family was as strong as his passion for music. London became the stage for Oswald's musical journey. Here, he established his own publishing house and embarked on a monumental project, the creation of the Caledonian Pocket Companion. This collection of Scottish folk tunes, some of which were adorned with Oswald's own musical variations, became a sensation. The Caledonian Pocket Companion spanned an impressive twelve volumes and saw numerous editions. Oswald's work not only showcased the beauty of Scottish music but also elevated it to new heights, capturing the hearts of listeners far and wide. In the vibrant musical scene of London, Oswald found himself among like-minded individuals. He became a member of the Temple of Apollo, a secret musical society that included esteemed composers such as Thomas Erskine, Sixth Earl of Kelly, John Reed, and Charles Burney. This society provided Oswald with a platform to collaborate and exchange ideas with other talented musicians, further fueling his creative spirit. Through his compositions and collaborations, Oswald left an indelible mark on the world of music, forever cementing his place in history as a legendary figure. James Oswald, a talented composer from Scotland, made significant contributions to the world of music with his compositions. He specialized in writing variations of popular Scottish folk tunes, arranging them for the fiddle, and even composing original tunes in the same genre. Under the pseudonym, Dottel Figlio, he published his chamber works, showcasing his unique musical style. Hashtag second paragraph hashtag in 1736, Oswald released a notable publication called, Collection of Minuets, in Edinburgh. This collection showcased his skillful arrangements and compositions. Four years later, in 1740, he published another influential work titled, Curious Collection of Scots Tunes. These publications solidified Oswald's reputation as a prominent composer in the Scottish music scene. Hashtag third paragraph hashtag while some tunes, such as, The East Nook of Fife, and, The Flowers of Edinburgh, have been attributed to Oswald, it is important to note that their origins predate his birth. However, Oswald's collection, The Caledonian Pocket Companion, featured many tunes that were later used as inspiration for Robert Burns's song lyrics. The variation sets in this collection are undoubtedly Oswald's work, as he explicitly stated that they included, all the favorite Scotch tunes, with variations by James Oswald. Hashtag fourth paragraph hashtag in addition to his Scottish compositions, Oswald also ventured into other musical genres. He wrote a collection of German military music titled, Forty Marches, Tattoos, and Night Pieces, which showcased his versatility as a composer. Notably, in 1761, he was appointed chamber composer to George III, further cementing his status as a respected musician. One of Oswald's most remarkable achievements is his two sets of airs for the seasons. This collection consisted of 96 compositions, each named after a different flower or shrub, and attributed to the appropriate season of the year. These beautiful compositions were playable by the violin and cello, with some pieces even having second violin parts available, allowing them to be performed as trios. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.